Less water for the Great Salt Lake means less water for the Bear River Migratory Bird Refuge. That rest stop for millions of birds has a lot more dry spots than it's had in past decades. The specialist Mike Anderson shows us where managers there, what they're having to do just to get by. Mike? Yeah, Dini and Mike, you know, it means out of the uh, some 80,000 acres out here, a whole lot less of it will be gaining water and managers here say looks a lot different than it did some say 30 years ago and they're working on getting a better picture of how that's affecting the bird populations. They are the sounds and sights that people come from all over the world to see an especially big attraction for birders. This is the premier migratory bird stopover. We get millions of birds on any given day in the fall or the spring can come out here. And... Aaron Holmes is the project manager over the Bear River Migratory Bird Refuge. She says there are fewer birds coming through here, seemingly as the wetlands are drying up. And people used to call it wings of thunder because that's what it would sound like. And we don't have that now because we don't, we're not able to provide that. Not that the refuge is ever going away, but with less water coming in from the Bear River, their water rights are bringing in smaller amounts. And so the drought means less water. And so the way we have to deal with it is we have to be a little bit more selective about where we're putting the water that we do have. The big priority going into this 4,000 acre impoundment inside the refuge's auto tour loop. And you can easily see surrounding areas get less, some of them drying up. Holmes says there's a definite correlation between the amount of water and the number of birds here. It's why a study is underway now to try and measure that impact in the Mountain West, being done with the help of the Audubon Society and Point Blue Conservation. And it would be really um, interesting to see what that data is showing us, the difference between 30 years ago the water situation is much different than now. And about two-thirds of the water that goes into the Great Salt Lake comes from the, river, the Bear River, and Holmes says they've had to take some of their allotment and put it into the Great Salt Lake to uh, try and avoid creating areas, low water areas, that could create botulism and attract invasive species. Back to you. Yeah, I think we sometimes don't realize, Mike, all the impacts that this drought situation has. Thanks.